Breakfast this morning is going to be a Thrive Lifestyle Mix shake. I love these shakes. They have uh, appetite suppressors in them. They're just really good. And they taste way better than uh, most protein. Not, not, they taste better than most like shakes you can buy at the store. Pack in, pack out. Oh yeah, that's good breakfast. So we're about ready to head out here in about uh, five minutes probably. So I'm all ready to go. Campsite's all packed up. We did not have a fire. That was from somebody else. We were too tired last night. But I got about seven hours of sleep last night. So taped up my toes. Got a big blister on one. So this is campsite 14. So over there is where you hang your bags. Here's where you eat. That's where you go to the bathroom. There's Tim. Say hi, Tim. And then over there is where you camp. You can, I mean, obviously, you can do whatever you want, but if you don't eat eaten by a bear, you should eat away from your campsite. Tim wants to film, so I'm going to stop talking. Back on the Hannah Mountain Trail for day two. It's going to be another, another 11 miler today. But we have a little more time. We have essentially 12 hours to hike. But I don't think it'll take us that long. <laughs> yeah. We're hoping to get into camp a little earlier than we did last night. We got into camp at what, 8.15 yeah. last night? So yesterday I was looking at my Fitbit. We did roughly 150 flights of stairs. And burned, I burned 3,700 calories. Um, 29,000 steps. My Fitbit said 13.9 miles or 13.3. Yeah, 13.3, but I started the hike off with a mile, a little over a mile, because we stopped for lunch, and I was talking to my girlfriend and pacing around my car, so. So we did about, Tim said about 10.9, which sounds about right, so. Stay tuned for more footage once we get off this trail, or maybe you'll, maybe on this trail, but this is pretty much what it's been like the last, well, since we left Evan Falls, really. So, see you guys later. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but we are pretty high up and you can kind of see the next mountain over there. Really good view here. I wish there was a little less trees, but we are in the middle of nowhere. So I understand, but great view this morning. This is why we came here. It is why we came here. That's why I'm going to start. Yep. Day two. Gregory Bald is going to be sweet. Man, this is just... This just puts me in a good mood. We don't have anything like this in Finley, so it's always a treat to come to go somewhere that has really good views and mountains. You know, they aren't the Rockies and they're not the winds, but they're pretty darn good. It's been probably 19 years since I've been to uh, the Ro to the Smokies, um, so I was four when we came. I remember a little bit. I remember falling in a creek, but I don't really remember anything else um but uh so it was nice to come back so the trail is flattened out a little bit here actually quite a bit i don't want to jinx us but we're making pretty good time now we're about two and a half miles in um not even an hour yet yeah not even an hour yet so we're making pretty good time uh at four and a half we got a junction uh to uh go on to gregory bald trail right Yep, Parson Branch Road. Park, yeah, Parson Branch Road. We're going to cross it. We'll probably take a break there, more than likely. And then uh, keep going. Um, I'm super excited to see Gregory Bald. It's going to be apparently around this time, but the third weekend in June is when these uh, wildflowers bloom. Azaleas. Azaleas. Tim did a little more research than me. He also <laughs> he had a little more time to research than me. I 
We plan. We literally planned this trip in probably. Well, he planned this trip in about two days, um, which considering everything, it's actually been a decent, decent uh, trip so far. Carson Branch Road, I believe. So right ahead. Turn around so you can see it. Finally made it to the road. So hopefully you can see this. Too a little longer than expected. Our Fitbits are off, but. Uh, We made it. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. About you? Oh, pretty good, man. Where are you headed? Up in Minnesota, over from uh, over in Townsend, up over Rich Mountain. Okay. Okay. Then I'll go back down and just do an out and back and do Rich Cave Cove and then back over Rich Mountain again. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're coming from um, Abrams Falls. Oh, okay. So we're going up to uh, uh, Gregory Bald up that way. Sweet. Four and a half miles, I think. Four and a half? Yeah. Cool. We've already done about four and a half, I believe. Yeah. So, cool. Uh, well, we stopped here for a quick snack and take a break for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna get back on the trail we got about four and a half right to uh, Gregory Bald I'm gonna filter some water here I used this this morning we are on the trail to Gregory Bald and uh, got about four and a half miles hoping to be there about 1 30 then we'll eat lunch up there and then we'll relax for a little bit and then head down to our campsite and then we're hoping to get, get in our campsite I, I would hope before six that would give us plenty of time to set up and relax and I did not make a warm dinner last night because I was just so exhausted from hiking after driving seven hours and then hiking for what seemed like an eternity I was just done but I'm ready for a hot meal tonight I'm trying to decide between beef stroganoff and chicken and dumplings so I guess we'll find maybe I'll eat both of them who knows I might be that hungry we stopped and got some water here so we're not sure when the next water source will be I was just about out. I had about a half liter of water left, and that's not enough to get me up to the top of this mountain. So we stopped and uh, filtered some water, and we're ready to head back up the mountain. So I will update you as we go. I think I'm finally almost at the top of this place.
are headed back down to uh, campsite 12. We just got done at uh, Gregory Gregory Bald. It was sweet. It was well worth the uh, the effort and the hike, even though I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> but apparently, I'm not as, in as good shape as I thought I was. Um, but this hike is definitely not for the uh, faint of heart. Um, it was fun, though. It's worth it. I think everybody should do this hike at least once. A lot of bears. We haven't seen any, but we... When we were kind of just chilling up on top of the uh, mountain, we heard uh, a group of people that were on horses screaming and hooting and hollering. They said there's a big black bear, um, but we never saw it, thankfully. Uh, I still got my bear spray just in case. You know, it was like 46 bucks, but you can't put a price on a peace of mind. I really, I would feel kind of vulnerable out here without my bear spray, even though black bears generally aren't really bad, like grizzlies, but still, you never know. There's been a couple people get, that's gotten attacked down here in the last couple months so we're just being safe you know doing the proper precautions hanging our packs eating away from our campsite so i'll update you guys when we get down to camp we made it into our camp about mm, 45 minutes ago don't have the best trees for hanging but we don't really care we just want to sleep in fact i'm going to roll this up keep bugs out Last night I had a bunch of ants in my hammock, and it was not fun to get them out. But uh, we have a really good campsite here tonight. We're actually going to be sharing it with some people. Um, the creek's right by us, so we have plenty of water. Um, going to be a good night. Um, sleep good tonight. Hopefully get up around 6.30, pack up, get out of here about 8, 7.30 or 8. And then we've got about an 8-mile hike to the car, about four, about 7 miles of it. Well, 6.5 miles would be road. Um, so we'll get back to the car about hopefully noon, maybe a little, maybe a little before or a little after, I don't know. And then go get some barbecue. So we're at, the campsite is really cool actually. Tonight's meal of choice is chicken and dumplings, my first hot meal on the trip. Last night I was just too tired to eat, or lazy rather. And uh, so for lunch I had pepperoni tortillas and some M&Ms. Uh, I think tonight I'm going to have that, the chicken and dumplings, some peanut butter, and I have some Propel uh, grape drink stuff in my Nalgene bottle. And then tomorrow I'll have beef jerky and peanut butter and some other stuff for lunch. So we're going to eat, probably go chill by the creek, and then go to sleep. 